hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install mac os big saw on any windows laptop or desktop from scratch now these are the requirements first we need a 16 gig flash drive or more second we need balena hr and that is what we're going to use to create a bootable disk with our flash drive we also need mini 2 partition wizard we need explorer plus plus we need mac os big saw installer image file we also need gem sm bios which we are going to use to generate unique serials for our mac os and lastly we need efi configuration file now the efi configuration file you download depends on your computer cpu so we have to check the generation of cpu we are using by opening tax manager or you can hold ctrl shift escape key and it should open up your tax manager now go to performance and then once you click on cpu you can see over here mine is core i5 4570 now starting from 4 means this is a fourth generation processor so we have to download efi file for fourth generation processor so make sure to confirm your cpu and the code name associated with it when you want to download your efi file it will be needed now the links to each and every one of the files will be provided in the video description so you can see these are my files this is Belena HR, this is Big Saw ISO file, this is EFI Open Core, this is Explorer Plus Plus, this is Gem BIOS, and this is Mini 2 Partition Wizard. First, we have to open up Belena HR, so let's install it. Okay, so we've successfully installed Belena HR. Now, the next thing we have to do is click on Flash from File. And then select big saw iso file over here make sure it is selected and then click on open now you have to connect your pen drive to your pc and then click on change over here and then select your pen drive which will be shown over here click on select and then you can click on flash to begin creating a bootable disk with a flash drive using big saw image file Now after creating a bootable flash drive using Big Saw Image File, we can head back to our download folder. Now we have to install Mini 2 Partition Wizard over here, so let's install. Continue with free trial, free version. Click on finish to launch Mini 2 Partition Wizard. Okay, so we've successfully installed Mini 2 Partition Wizard. Now if you look down here, you can see Disk 3, which is a removable flash drive, which is our bootable disk as well. So if you look by the side, you're going to see a partition called EFI, which has the format of FAT32. Now let's right click on EFI and then click on change letter. Now we have to change the letter to something we can easily identify. So I'm just going to call it X. OK. And then click on apply down here. Yes. OK. Now we can close Mini 2 Partition Wizard. And then head back to our download folder. Now the next thing we have to do is to generate SM BIOS for our hacking touch. So we can sign in with our Apple ID so we can have access to Apple Store and every other feature. So extract EFI open core file you downloaded based on your CPU. Now the link to each and every one of these files is provided in the video description. So make sure to check it out. Also extract gem BIOS as well. And then we can delete the files we no longer need. So we can delete Balena HR. We can delete the zip file for EFI Open Core and Gem BIOS. And also Mini 2 Partition Wizard as well. Now open Gem BIOS. Open it. And then you can see a file over here Gen SM BIOS, which is a Windows batch file. Now let's run this file. So double click on it. And here we are. Now the first thing we have to do is install and update Mac Serial. So enter one and then hit enter. Now make sure you're connected to the internet. It has to download some packages which needs an active internet connection. Now the next thing we have to do is to select our configuration file in our EFI folder. So enter two and then hit enter. Now we have to specify the configuration file. So let's open our download folder again and then open our EFI folder, open EFI, open OC 
and you can see a file over here with name config.plist so drag the file and then just drop it to smbios now hit enter the next thing we have to do is generate smbios so enter tree and then hit enter now we have to specify the smbios to generate so in this case we'll be generating smbios for imac pro 1.1 1, 1, which should be able to run mac os big saw and then hit enter and it has been successfully generated you can see Syria for our machine now hit enter to return and we also have to generate uuid so enter for and then hit enter generated as well hit enter to continue and lastly we can quit by entering q hit enter so we are done with smbios as well now the next thing we have to do is to extract explorer plus plus so right click on explorer plus plus and then extract with any file extractor you use and then let's open it and you can see an application over here explorer plus plus right click and then run as administrator now you can see a partition called efi with the label x which is the letter we specified earlier so this is the partition where we will be moving our efi files so let's open this partition and then delete everything there yes and then locate your download folder where our efi files are and this is the efi folder in our download folder so let's open it and then copy this folder called efi inside our open core efi folder so let's copy the entire folder head back to this pc and then open the efi partition let's paste it there and we are done with that so we can close explorer plus plus now we no longer need explorer plus plus and gem sm bios so i can delete it now keep your efi folder safe we'll make use of it after the installation and lastly we have to confirm the drive we are installing mac os so head to your search bar and then search for disk management and then click on create and format hard disk partitions so over here you can see the list of drives on my pc disk 0 over here is my hdd which i am currently running windows from disk 1 over here is my ssd which i also use as well disk 2 over here is our removable drive you can see the label over here so i want to install mac os on my ssd which is disk 1 now if you have just one hard drive on your pc i would recommend you back up your files before you install mac os else you may lose your files after the installation you can bring back your files and do whatever you want to do so i'm going to install mac os on our ssd over here so make sure you confirm the drive you want to install mac os now if you have just one drive and you want to do about mac os and windows 10 or 11 you can actually do that so simply select your drive which is available there right click on it and then shrink volume and then enter the amount of space you want to shrink for the mac os partition now i would recommend anything over 50 gig but if you want your machine to work properly from 80 gig should be used so 100,000 megabyte which is about 100 gigabyte shrink and this is going to create a new partition which is over here and then i can right click on this unallocated partition new simple volume next next assign a letter to the drive next give it a name just call it mac next finish now this is if you have just one drive and you want to install mac os on a different partition on that same drive so you can run windows and mac os on the same drive but in my case i don't really need to do this so i'm going to delete the partition so let me delete the volume and then i'm going to extend the original volume so for this video we'll be installing mac os on our ssd over here so i can close my disk management and then reboot into my bios setup hood f9 or f12 depending on your pc and it should boot into your setup now navigate to bios setup and then hit enter 
Now screw down to your system configuration and then switch from RAID to AHCI. Now this method may be different depending on the PC you're using. Also disable secure boot. And lastly, change the boot sequence from legacy to UEFI. So make sure that is set and then we can apply the changes we've made and it should restart. Hold F9 or F12 again to boot into our setup page. This time we are booting into our USB drive so you can see our USB which is the second option over here bearing UEFI. So all we have to do is hit enter. And then we have to reset NVRAM first. So hit enter to reset NVRAM and it should restart. And then we can begin the installation. Hit enter. Now select the language for the installation and continue. And then click on Dix Utility. Continue. Now we can see two drives listed here, our HDD which is our Windows and our SSD where we want to install Mac OS. So select our SSD and then by the right click on Erase. And then the format should be set to APFS else Mac OS won't recognize it. Erase. And we are done erasing the drive. Click on Done. Now we can close this page and then proceed with the installation. Now click on install Mac OS Big Sur. Continue. Click on continue again. Agree to the terms. And then select a drive where we want to install Mac OS. Continue. And it should start installing. It will restart severally while installing but you just have to wait patiently. successfully installed after about 45 minutes. Now select your country or region and then continue. Continue with spoken languages. Not now for accessibility. We are connecting with local network for now. Continue. Continue with DHCP. Continue. Continue with data and privacy. For migration, not now. We don't really want to get data from anywhere. Agree to the terms and conditions. Now set a name and password for your machine. Continue. Continue with Express setup. Continue with analytics. Set up later for the screen time. Now you can customize this based on what you want. I'm just going to enable Siri and continue. Select the language for Siri, continue. Not now. Continue. And then choose your look. Now I'm going with the dark mode since I actually prefer the dark mode. But you can change this later after the setup. So you can go with whatever you want. Continue. And here we go. We've successfully installed Mac OS Big Sur on our computer. But wait, we are not yet done. Remember our EFI file and partition is still in our USB. So if we are booting Mac OS, we are booting from our USB, not our main PC. So we have to move the EFI files to our PC. And to do that, we need ESP Mounter Pro. And we also need our EFI file we used earlier. The link to download ESP Mounter Pro is in the video description. You can see this is our EFI file, exactly the same one we use for the installation and that is what we will be using. So first double click on ESP Mounter Pro to install and we are getting an error, this program is not recognized. So click on OK and then go to System Preferences. 
now go to security and privacy and then scroll down you would find a prompt saying allow anyway to allow esp mounter pro run now allow and then enter your password to confirm install and esp mounter pro has been installed we can close our system preference now if you look at the top right you see an icon for esp mounter pro click on it and then click on show all this to show all the disks available here now just navigate down and you would find efi partition now click on mount to mount the partition and then click on open volume to open the partition so you can see over here this is our efi partition now all you have to do is delete the efi folder and then paste in our modified efi folder right there and that is all We can now delete the open core EFI folder from our desktop since we no longer need it. And then we can restart our PC and start using Mac OS Big Sur. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. If you encountered any issue while installing, don't forget to use the comment section. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.